Hi, in this problem we have a flywheel rotates with an angular velocity of omega equal to 0 0.005 theta squared radian per second. So this is angular velocity with respect to angular position. And theta is in radians. Determine the angular acceleration when it rotates 20 revolution. So here we are asked to find the angular acceleration. So let's write down what is given to us. So here we are given the omega, the angular velocity, as a function of position equal to 0 0.005 theta squared and we are given that theta the displacement or is 20 revolution and we can convert revolution to radian one revolution so when we complete one revolution complete one cycle and one cycle is 2 pi radian revolution cancels with the revolution 20 times 2 will give us 40 pi radian here we are asked to find the angular acceleration when it rotates 40 pi or in other words, we want to find the angular acceleration as a function of position. So, solution So, if you if, if your initial intuition that you that you need to differentiate this equation right here then it is wrong because remember that angular acceleration is what uh, angular acceleration alpha measures the time rate of change of the angular velocity so which is this So this is this one with respect to time and we know that angular velocity is what is delta theta divided by delta t so what we want to do in here is we want to eliminate delta t so we can obtain a differential relation between the angular acceleration angular velocity and angular displacement so the way we will do this, let's say delta t is equal to delta theta divided by omega. And let's solve for delta t in here. So delta t times alpha equal to delta omega. Now let's plug this delta t. So it will be delta theta divided by omega alpha equal to delta omega so your alpha will equal to delta theta times alpha times omega times delta omega so this is the differential relationship that we obtain all right so our goal here is to find the angular acceleration so let's do that angular acceleration will be omega angular velocity times the angular the change in angular velocity divided by the change in position now as you can see this one is basically the derivative of this function right here and omega is this function so alpha will equal to omega which is 0. 0, 0, 0.005 theta squared times delta theta over 
delta q 2 times 0 0.005 is 0 0.01 0 0.01 and theta to the power 2 2 minus 1 is theta and 0 0.005 times 0 0.01 will give us 0 0.12345 theta to the power 3. So here we can plug in our 40 pi and that will equal to 0 0.0005 40 pi radian to the power 3. So our angular acceleration will equal to 99. 22 radian per second squared. Thank you very much. Have a good day.